Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another preview video for the Transformers Studio Series. So, today, we're gonna take a look at three... No, I'm not three. Five new figures. Wait, one, two, six. Apparently, I cannot count. What is wrong with me? Anyway, sorry about that. Today, we're gonna take a look at the new... Transformer Studio Series from the Bumblebee movie. We're gonna take a look at Virgil Class Sunwave, Deluxe Class Ratchet, Braun, Wheeljack, and Core Class Ravage and Shockwave. So six new figures, and that pretty much that's it. So we're gonna start off with the small figures all the way to the biggest one. So yeah. Um, before we start. Uh, before we start, uh, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe for my main channel, my gaming channel. We get a description down below. Also, I have a tw I have a Twitter post, uh, pin post that if you guys have any requests, any figures that you want me to review, make sure you leave a comment there on my Twitter, or you can leave it here to my to my to the comment section down below. And make sure to go every social media I have in the description down below. So we're gonna start it off. So today we're gonna take a look for the small figures first, all the way to the biggest one. But first thing first, we're gonna show you the new packaging for the, the core class figures. So here we have the new packaging for the core class Shockwave and Ravage right here. The new packaging looks of it looks amazingly well. The now I think they're gonna use the same. Uh, they're gonna use the same method again for the without the plastic window. So. Uh, I think that's going to be the, one of the major problems, for my opinion, because a lot of people are going to steal it. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to start it off with Core Class Shockwave. Now, Shockwave... Uh, let's see. Shockwave... I, 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 uh, there's one... I love this figure, but this... He looks like he's a heavy... Heavy retool of the Prime Cyberverse Commander Class Shockwave. Let me do a comparison with it. So, but if you guys can help me out with it, so let's see. Let's see. Hold on, man. I need the photo of it first. So, Transformers Prime Commander Shockwave. Okay, there it is. So let's look over the view his vehicle mode first. That's all right. His vehicle mode is almost the same like the um like this right here. Like here is the the, the studio series version of it, and here we have this. I think it's the same thing, but I get the feeling. But I think it's almost. Uh, I think this character, this figure is, is a new mode. I don't know. Because the reason why this I say that because of the feet right here. So, yeah, so I guess this is a new mode, so, yeah, sorry guys. But Shockwave looks amazingly good. The only major problem with this figure have is the lack of paint that this figure has. Head sculpt looks amazingly good, I'm not going to lie to you. The purple with the uh, gray, little bit of black, gunmetal gray, tinsel silver looks great and all. The only accessory he will come with is his, this piece right here, and pretty much that's it. Next up we have Ravage. Uh, why does Ravage look like he have a ding-dong on the... What the fuck is this? Alright, Ravage, his face looks a bit derpy. Alright, when he fold up, I get the feeling like he's gonna go in with, with Soundwave, but... The fold-up mode looks okay, it's like a square shape look, cubey, dingy right here. But with his beast mode... Yeah, he looks kind of weird and ridiculous. Also, it's pretty funny how he's had like a thing. Don't, okay, I, let's, let's move on. There's not much of it but to say Ravage. He looks good, but he kind of looked derpy and his face looks stupid. Now, I saw this on YouTube, uh, Prime vs. Prime, reviewing this Deluxe Class Wheeljack. Now, there's a lot of people saying, telling, there's a lot of people in the comments saying, Oh, he still, guys, he didn't steal it. He didn't steal it, okay? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, Wheeljack looks amazingly badass. 
Robot mode looks great. Vehicle mode looks, looks also great, but the back of the vehicle mode is terrible. Like I said, I saw the review on it. The only major problem with the robot mode is the feet made of a translucent plastic. It's almost look like a smoky black, but it has like a hint of blue of it that you can see here. Hesco looks amazingly well. There's no uh, cable interfering of, you know, the articulation from the arms and the legs right here. It looks perfectly clean. Now, Braun. Braun here. This character looks amazingly good. His vehicle mode, a Cybertronian driller. That is so badass. Of course, he has bronze color scheme right here, which is amazingly good. He comes with his giant assault rifle that he have from a, like from the movie. Head scope is look amazingly good. His head scope is almost look like Juggernaut from X Men, but mine is you can see his actual face of Braun. That looks amazing. That looks pretty good. The only, like I said, the only major problem is same thing with all the other Studio Series figures that I'm gonna show you. They gotta suffer some lack of paint. Ratchet, holy shit! Ratchet looks amazingly good. All right, so my friend, the Ghost of Lormaster Master Starscream, told me his vehicle mode almost looked like a land, like a NASA Land Rover. I kind of agree on him, but yeah, of course his vehicle mode is a Cybertronian ambulance, so yeah, he's a medic. Vehicle mode looks great. I like it a lot, and of course he will comes with the assault rifle. I think it's the same thing like Braun. Nope, little new, different mold. Of Braun, so yeah. Ratchet looks great. Um, what's the problem with this figure? Hesco looks okay. Chest is kind of a bit too big for him. Um, hollowness on the on the thighs right here, which is one of the major issues, and of course, lack of paint of it. But if this figure was released, I will tell you more about the problem right here. Um, let's close that out because who cares about Among Us? I had to stop playing this game because it got stupid. Now here we have the last figure we have for today. Voyager Class Soundwave. And what the fuck kind of vehicle mode is this? Okay. First of all. What kind of vehicle is this? It's almost look like a crab. But it's, I think it's actually it's, it's a, like a Cybertronian hover vehicle. Robot mode on the other hand looks amazingly good. Now, I get the feel like his chest can open up to, and you can store Ravage in there. And I I, I, I know there's... I'm, please, Hasbro, do the, do the gimmick of it. Please. The only major problem uh, with this figure is the head articulation can get in, can get in the way from this, his shoulder cannon right here. That's one of the major issues. He almost looks like he also going to have like some feet, uh, feet articulation also. Uh... He has, he does have some hollowness on the shins right, on the side right here, unfortunately, which is pretty sucks. Because the vehicle mode is kind of questionable, robot mode is good, but yeah. Overall, these new figures are amazingly good. I highly recommend it to have this in, well, it's not out yet, it will release in 2022, but which, which, which figure do you guys want me to get, do you guys, uh, do you want me to review, but also what figures do you guys want to get? I may have to start off getting Shockwave and Ravage because I know D2 is going to be very rare, hard to find in the future, and a high price. I may probably try to get all the others right here, but we'll see in the future. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end this right here, so have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out.